Right you guys, how are we and what is going on? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to my coverage or my reactions of the 2020 Scouting Combine. This is a yearly thing and you guys know what's coming next after the Scouting Combine. That is the top 100 of 2020, which I cannot wait to see because that's going to allow me to well, basically get up to speed with, with what happened in the previous season because at the end of the day, um, I didn't follow a whole lot. I mean, I watched the, the play a little bit of the playoffs, but the Jaguars started, you know, not really going that well after week number five or six, and from, from that point, I pretty much just stopped watching. So um, I'm going to do my absolute very best to watch this coming season. In fact, come to think of it, I've got XFL to watch too. I don't know how the... How do you guys do it? How do you guys do it, honestly? Now, these reactions, they're great, they're fun, but they do sort of, after a while, they start to to affect the way that you actually look at sport. I mean, you, you feel like some days you can't even watch something without, you know, bringing the camera out. And it's like, you feel like you're wasting it if you watch a, a game of sport without making a, a YouTube video about it. It's like, no mate, that's backwards. That's absolutely backwards. And, and you know, over time, the more I do this, uh, the more that, that sort of attitude is, is fading, which I'm happy about. But today, guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to the channel. We're checking out the quarterbacks running the 40 yard dash. Uh, the 40 yard dash is something I'm always interested in. I like seeing people's running style. I like seeing their explosiveness off the line. Um, and I like hearing what the commentators have to say. So with that being said, let's get into it. Wow. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. There is only one name I know. Jalen Hurts. And it looks like he's coming up at number six. So let's get into it. Got some power to him. Let's see what the time is. Now I did say before, if any if any of these quarterbacks get a, a four five something, that's impressive. Who is this guy? Big Kev with the five oh five. Oh, he's got a huge body too. Looks about six foot six. You're gonna have to improve on that, mate. Justin Herbert. 471. Now this guy, this next one's the one I'm looking for. 464. Now I don't know exactly why I'm looking for that guy. I feel like, I feel like he plays for. I feel like he was in the running for the Heisman Trophy, which means that he must be the quarterback from Ohio State. But don't quote me on that. What happened there? Did he slow down? Playing an imperfect game. The pass rush is difficult throughout the week about Joe Burrow and how remarkable his 2019. No, he didn't slow down. <laughs> I thought he pulled up with an injury. Within one year, for one of our games. Come on, mate, get under five seconds. He looks like he will. Ah, oh, five flat. He's gonna get hit. And he gets hit, and, and sometimes that's troubling if it's a quarterback that they change. Well, that's consistent. Let's go, Jake. So does that make Let's sense? go, Jake. Come on, power through. Trying to figure out the difference between 18 and 19 were probably a number of things. And, and shoot, I thought they played an exceptional defense in 19. Well, that's a, a great ally. There's, there's a lot that goes 469, that's, that's respectable. Come on, mate. Stress of it, but oh, yes. And yet, what a run by Jalen Hurts, 459. Well done. That's solid, man. That's that's fucking solid. So many folks talking so highly of this Utah State quarterback. Obviously, we'll figure out what our hand time is from birthday boy Charlie Cashley. Six four two twenty five. First time out of the bullpen for him today. Yeah, he hasn't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a four six nine according to Charlie Cashley's hand time. Four six nine. If your eye, right. If you ask Charlie, okay. doing well, we. I, I, I forgot about all these guys in the stands. <laughs> you better get it right, mate. If your eyes right. If you ask Charlie if he's doing anything for his birthday, if this is exactly what he would be. Of course he would be. In the 40s. Cole McDonald on the line, what do you think of this kid? I'm sorry, but any quarterback that wears a headband instantly makes me think of Baker Mayfield. Montez of Colorado, and we're hand-timing for the 
Could have been a little bit more efficient with his uh, movement there. Let's go, James. He's got some good good top speed. Nice. Quite like that. His start was good. This fella looks about six foot four. He's got long as shit strides. How many how many steps? How many steps did that guy take? Not many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eight, nine. I always think that if a guy can get over the line but between nineteen and twenty steps, he has a massive stride. If it's under nineteen or eighteen and a half or something, that's just ridiculous. If it's under eighteen, that's Usain Bolt. A lot of these guys are six foot three or over, aren't they? Which is a big human. Go, Morgster! That's it. Run all the way through. Oh, he's explosive. Short, though. Big Nate Stanley, bringing it home for the, for the quarterbacks at the 40 yard dash. All right guys, uh, that's another video done. I hope you enjoyed. In the next one, we're getting a little bit warmer, a little bit closer to what I really enjoy watching, which is running backs. But uh, you know, second best would have to be wide receivers and that's what's next. <laughs> and we've got kickers and punters, that's gonna be good. Uh, running backs, linemen, and much, much more. So stay tuned guys. I'm having fun, I hope you guys are too, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.